Hi St Luke's and welcome to Church News. Thank you for partnering with us in Gospel Growth this week. You can give using the bank details on our website or using the cash box in the foyer. And as you give this week, remember this exhortation from 1 Timothy chapter 5, which says, Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honour, especially those who labour in preaching and teaching. For the scripture says, You shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain, and the labourer deserves his wages. Today we're drinking coffee and milkshakes for our mission partnership with Ross and Lyndall Webb. You can find out more about Ross and Lyndall here at our mission partner wall in the foyer. And here's a little more about the work of Wycliffe. We've had the Bible in English for over 600 years. But what if we didn't? What if God's word had never been translated into English? What if we couldn't understand God speaking to us through it? The Bible changes lives, but only if we can understand it. Right now, 1.5 billion people in the world don't have the Bible in their language because it hasn't been translated yet. To them, it's as if God doesn't speak their language. Through the work of Bible translation, many people have parts of the Bible. But how will people come to know God without knowing John 14:6? Psalm 23 or Genesis 1. It's time to change this. We long to see every person have access to God's Word. So we work with churches and Christians around the world, translating the Bible into the languages people understand best, teaching people to read so they can read the Bible, and helping people to apply God's Word to their lives. We do all this so that just like us, people can be transformed through hearing God speak to them in their language. They need you to be part of this work. Go, give, pray. Here at St. Luke's, we value biblical saturation. And we have some resources available for purchase, which will help you grow in your biblical saturation. Uh, Firstly, we have these slimline ESV Bibles. And we also have these sermon notebooks. I use both of these and find them very helpful as I live out my own biblical saturation. And you can purchase all of these resources for $10 each in the church foyer. One of our values here at St. Luke's is practical service. And we want to help you serve our Lord Jesus Christ and his people with joy and humility. And one way you can grow in your practical service is by joining us at our next dinner bee. At our dinner bees, we spend a few hours working together on our property. There are different jobs for all different kinds of people. We then eat together. So join us on Sunday the 10th of June to pull out some weeds, clean some windows and eat dinner with some St. Luke's friends. Finally, in our most recent church email, there was a link to a video from me introducing our four or more campaign. If you haven't already watched this video, please do so in the next week. And if you don't yet receive our church emails and would like to, then please let me know. Well, that's all from us. You're welcome to join us for coffee and a meal after the gathering. And rejoice in the good news, St. Luke's, that Jesus is your loving King and Saviour and the loving King and Saviour of our family, our friends, our neighbours and even our enemies. You are Lord.